So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a very simple kind of editing tool in PowerPoint to make your images smaller in size. Uh, by that, I don't just mean resizing the image. What I mean is we're going to also decrease the amount of storage space needed to house this image in your PowerPoint presentation. So if you're a skilled PowerPoint user, this tutorial most likely won't help you. But if you are just learning or if you were just wondering, I'm going to show you a couple of things in terms of image manipulation. So first and foremost, I've placed this image of a beaker in my PowerPoint presentation. This image was taken with an SLR camera, so it's pretty big. It's 2.7 megs. So if I were to have a 50 slide presentation with these images in it, then you can imagine that 2.7 megs per image would start to add up really, really fast. So, of course, I'm not going to have a single slide with just an image on it. Instead, I'm going to probably want to edit this image in a few ways. So, the first part of this tutorial will just be the basic editing tools needed for images. And in PowerPoint 2011, that can be found in the Format Picture tab. So, you can click it here in the ribbon, or you can also go up here to Format and choose Picture. I prefer to use the ribbon, so I'm going to use the ribbon, so format picture. And the first thing I want to do is just have it to where it's my beaker and not a lot of this uh, lab paper on the side. So I'm going to choose crop. So when I choose crop, that's going to change the look of the borders of this image, and I can grab anywhere on this image and drag in. So I'm going to grab here on the left side, drag in, do the same on the right side, and then I'll click off the image and that will crop it. Now, here's the thing to remember. Just because I cropped it and I can no longer see those edges does not mean that they're not still there. If I click this and I choose crop again, okay, it brings up the whole image so I can restore any of that. So that means that this image is actively storing parts that I'm not seeing. Okay. So that's crop. So I've now cropped it the way that I want it to be, and I'm going to make those pieces that I can't see go away here in a little bit. The next thing I'm going to do is resize. So just like with my tutorial on shapes and lines, I'm going to hold the shift key before I grab this corner, and that will make sure that my image retains its relative proportions. Okay, So I don't wind up with a fat, short beaker or a skinny, tall beaker. All right, so I've placed this image now in my PowerPoint presentation, but I haven't reduced its size. Even though I've shrunk its dimensions, even though I've cropped it, this is still a 2.7 meg photo. So to finalize the size of this and to reduce it, I'm going to come over here under the Format Picture tab, and I'm going to click Compress. Okay, and this brings up several different options. I'll start with the first. I can choose the picture quality, if it's going to be best for printing, best for viewing on screen, or best for sending in an email. So I want the best for viewing on screen because I'm going to give this as a presentation. If I were going to give it as a handout, I'd choose best for printing. Okay, So I'll choose that. Removed cropped picture region. So this will remove the sides of the image that I cropped out, and then all pictures in this file. So if I have this picture anywhere, or if I have all pictures, or just selected pictures only. So I'm going to do the selected picture here, and I'm going to click OK. Now if you have a multi-picture PowerPoint, you can choose all pictures in this file, and it will take care of everything. So I'll choose selected pictures only, and voila, this now should be formatted properly. So if I go to crop it, you'll notice it no longer starts or shows the regions outside of where I had originally cropped it and the picture quality has actually decreased a little bit as well so if I expand this it has reduced in quality just slightly so this is a good way to make it so that your PowerPoint presentations don't take up an overabundant amount of space either for your students to download or print or if you're just trying to save space on your computer so that ends this tutorial